just it doesn't keep it, you can feel it like keep coming out of your mouth. My background is a, is a trumpet player and a shakuhachi player, so I come from breath-oriented music. So I'm always trying to find a way to make the synths breathe uh, that different. You know, so there's some pauses. It's definitely not beat-driven music. Closest thing I ever get to beat. <laughs> Used to be a drum. So it's going through all of its little transformations. The oscillator is a resonant equalizer, which you can do feedback, and it's just like totally freaking insane. That's because you have ten piece. bands, ten bands of uh, uh, frequencies to play with on that feedback. They're resonant. Yeah, oh, resonant. Wow. Yeah. They realized that these circuits were life forms. Of their own. They had a beginning, middle, and an end. You know, went through puberty, went through old age, and finally died. So then they turned on their tape recorders and they made like hundreds of these circuits, and that's what Forbidden Planet soundtrack is. All these circuits recorded and then they multi tracked them. Uh, or back then there wasn't multi track, so they were bouncing <laughs> from one tape deck to the next. So if you turn this down, we hear nothing. Start dialing out the steps. Right then. Chooses the Euclidean. Exactly. So now we can. Can you control multi track steps? Uh, well, you can reset it. Uh -huh. You can't CV. There's no CV in it. So then the, the, that has a trimmer on there so I can dial it up and make it warmer. So for now, we're roughly just two filters. The Digisound filter, which is a CDM 3320 pass filter chip, which are long gone. This is just buttery smooth, really warm, super warm. Two oscillators, a primary and secondary, an LFO, and it's got clock dividers, 16 clock dividers in the bottom. <laughs> Quarter, you know, and then you, and you just plug it, and, then the, and anything that's white around it's an output, anything without white on it's an input. And it also has CV out. I'm going to use a CV out to clock. This is a pocket operator PO12. It's the it's cutest little drum machine ever. And since it has an aux in, you can run other stuff through the filter. So it sounds pretty cool to take like some kind of crappy drum machines, and then you can kind of give make them sound like they're a lot more than they are. So like drum machine in? Yeah, like yeah. So like I tend to run for recording a couple times. I've run like Casio drum keyboards with yeah, their, like yeah, yeah. really cheesy old drum patterns. Mm -hmm. Run through cool. there. Oh, that totally did that wrong. <laughs> You should listen to the following music in such a way 
that through complete absorption in the sounds, you lose yourself and become the music. Although you will soon be quite familiar with this music, you must learn not to anticipate what is coming next.
Oh, sweet. 